Hey ladies, how are you? Today I have a review on this foundation. This is a Fix Me by Maybelline. Um, this is the pore, it's matte and poreless. And um, it's normal to oily skin. Um, what else does it do? I can tell you everything and if it works for that. And I'll let you know and I'll let you know what I actually think about it. It magnifies and refines your pores. Matches natural tone. Natural semi-less finish mattifies, mattifies, mattifies in your pores, corresponds to tints naturals. Okay, yeah, that was another language, anyways. But yeah, so it does all that. So is it matte? Of course it is. I've been using it for a week already. I usually don't get any matte foundations because I have never tried them out. And I tried this one because I heard it was matte and I liked it because right here on my nose all the time I get super super duper oily. With this foundation I have not got oily at all and my skin doesn't get oily at all. I really really loved it because of that and then I left it pretty nice. Didn't fit my skin tone. Um, To fit me it didn't fit me too much but I think if I it's a little dark for me it's a little bit not too much you can't really notice it if you can tell but um yeah so I think if I would get the the one um before it it would be too light and if I get this one it's a little bit too dark but I think this one is just nice for me so and I think this would be a nice summer color so when I'm in the sun the, the sun hits me more then this would be a perfect perfect shade for me and it's poor is it poreless I think it's a little bit not too crazy that it covers your whole pores you can still see your pores a little bit um, I haven't tried any primers with it because I I actually um, gonna get one soon from so from Ulta so I'm waiting for that to get in the mail and then I'll give you a cover-up without um, primer works this is a Smashbox one so yeah um, what else oh what kind of like is it full coverage medium coverage or semi um well, I think it's medium because it pretty much covers most of the things that I want it to cover on my face and it works really nice it like I like using foundation because it covers all my redness so that's why I like to use it um what else and I did get natural beige it's 220 and they do have powder foundations but I believe they have more fa liquid foundations they do powder so yeah, let's see if I forgot anything else. Um, I do highly recommend it. I give it a four, a four out of five stars. It's very nice. I think it's worth it. Six dollars, go for it. I think you should go if you mostly if you're oily, it gives you nice, nice and not oily. So and then it lasts pretty much during almost the whole day because when I got home last night from work, I still had some on. I didn't retouch it at all. I usually don't retouch my my powder foundations. But it stayed pretty much the whole day. Um, and then when you take it out, when you're like, if you pour it on your hand or wherever you pour it, and it's like this. Hold on, let me try it. So like this, you see? I had it upside down, so it turned. And what I recommend, if you want the this thing to go on the other side, you just twist it from the back side. And it, no, I didn't land on it, but it usually does. But yeah. It's like that, and I really like the top because it's thick, and, and the foundation doesn't get, like, nasty. Like on the L'Oreal one that when I talked about in the video that I did the review, that one, it does get nasty on there. This one hasn't got nasty on me yet. So, yeah, when you pour it on there, it is pre pretty thick, actually. When you, So, don't use, use a little bit because with you when you pour a smell amount like this, you can get it through your whole face at least that much. That's why the first time I, I poured a, like, a lot and I had to throw it back in the, in the packaging because it was I didn't want to throw it away it's too much and then like I did that and I just pour it all over my face um to rubbing it on your face I use my normal brush which is the it was the flat powder brush from elf the studio and the three dollar one that one is perfectly fine and worked and it didn't leave me too much harsh marks actually I was surprised because the other one that I have is more liquefying and it leaves more harsh marks than this one. This one doesn't leave too much harsh mark because it's so thick and so like so um it's not too liquidy. So that's why it doesn't leave too much harsh mark on my face. And I loved it actually. 
So yeah, that's my review. Um, I do recommend it to buy it for you guys, and it's wonderful. So go for it. If you're thinking about getting it, then go for it. I do recommend it. And yeah, I'm going to tell you what I'm wearing on my face. I'm wearing some Wet n Wild lipstick. This is the, I think, Wine Room. It's right there. Might have been. Let me run in and get it see what it was. <gasps> um, it wasn't this one either. <gasps> okay. It was... No, it wasn't wine room. It was Sugar Plum Fairy. So I what is what I'm wearing on my lips. Um, and I'm not wearing any eyeshadow, so yeah. And I'm wearing this scarf. If you're wondering, this is an infinity, and it has these little... I can dig it out of here. These little bowls right here, and these ones are from Gap. And I got this shirt last year at Route 21, if you're wondering. It's a little cute right now. Okay. And I got these jeans, if you want to see them. They are from, I believe, Sears. I love these jeans, and I am recording on my bed. So, yeah, the clean up, I'm like, I can throw this little video. So, that is it for you guys. That is my review. I highly, highly recommend this Fit Me, the new one from Maybelline. Sorry. So, yeah, go for it, you guys, and have a wonderful day. And this is my first video of the week and I'm hoping to do a video each week so I can get more on track on that. Next week I start school so hopefully I do have time. I'm going out of town for two days for that class so it's going to be a little rough this semester so I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a wonderful day. Bye!